Hello everyone, I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. You know who that is. Who that? Tip Benson. Right here in the house. I recently put out a video on my top releases of 2017. Mm -hmm. These are some of them. These actually were the top five that I like the most, but there was a bunch of others. I want to do a little quick fun video and let her rate some of my favorites and see what she thinks. So you guys keep it right there. Great year this year. Absolutely. We had some fabulous times together. Always. A lot of beautiful collabs and uh, a beautiful friendship growing and growing. Yes. And thanks for everything. We I... blossomed. Yes, we did. We did. <laughs> Do you have any standouts that, on your personal end that you love this year? Or... Fragrance wise or yeah. like fragrance journey wise? Either, but I kind of meant fragrance, but either is fine. Um, no. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Let's get this video going. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. You're a little no, tired. I'll let you off the hook. I do have some beautiful things that um, I, I love that I got to meet you. Was that this No, that year? was last year. Last year? See, I, I can't answer <laughs> these questions. We're over a year already. We met in November of 2015. That's wrong, isn't that no, wrong? That is no, wrong. We, we met in November of 2016. Oh, yes, yes. So we're on was, yeah. a year and a month. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a journey this year. I learned a lot, for sure. And your channel has grown immensely. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. It's always a blessing to have like new people come into the community and you know, each subscriber is a real person. And I think that people forget that, but I never do. That's definitely one of my favorite things about my channel, the interaction with the mostly positive people. You get those jerks here and there, but yeah. it's part of the game and what are you gonna do? But right. there's enough love that covers all that negativity out of the way. Mm -hmm. So let's start with this one. Yes. This is John Varvato's Artisan Pure. I'm excited to try it. You may have, I think you may have even reviewed it. Oh You're yeah, forgetting. yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I'm excited to, I never tried it on skin actually. I'm gonna give you a poker face. Through all right. Of them. What do you think? We should pick like your top three out of these. I do. All right, I cool. Think that's a good. This next one is from Zoologist Perfumes. This is Camel. My review just came out last night. If this video comes out tomorrow, do if you, not, it came out two nights ago. Do you remember um, which, what level it came in? What number it came in? Well, they were all. It wasn't a top list my oh. but it was on my Your favorites of the year yeah it didn't make the front row but it was on my whole entire list okay all right this is from Guerlain it's called Louis Was that keep my ooms to myself? Don't influence? Yeah, don't influence. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Mm. <laughs> it just smells so good in the air, that's all. Is what I meant from beyond. I do like a couple so far. Cool beans. A couple on YouTube. This is Leighton Exclusive. I love this one. I can't help but say it. I do like that one a lot. She loves it, she loves it. I've smelled this before, right? You have with me. You were yeah. on the video. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a great one. All right. It's great. Next one 
Next to last is Beach Hut Man from Amouage. Beach Hut Man? What's this one about? Uh, you'll see right now. Shady. Beach Hut Woman just came out. No, I, I wasn't trying to be shady. Get my thoughts to myself. That's a cool one. That's interesting. All right. And the last one that I chose from my list, which had around maybe 30. Wow. 30? Yeah. References? This is from Serge Off. It's called Cruz del Sur 2. That's my favorite. Oh, I you remember? I smell it. Like, <laughs> that's how you know it's a good fragrance when you don't even have to, like, respray. You just know. Yep. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so this one is super intriguing. This one I like a lot. I really like this one a lot. It smells, to me it smells um, like um, it's like a step up from what they've done from all the other yeah um, I would totally agree it's, it's my favorite from yeah. the whole line yeah for sure it's like elevated it has an elevatedness about it um, the latent exclusive yes ma'am gorgeous 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 and the best part of it, really, in my opinion, is the dry down. Yeah. The coffee and oud and amber, which comes off better on skin than on the blotter, but you get the idea. Gorgeous. That one's gorgeous. Now this one. To me, this smells very unisex. It doesn't. Oh, it, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say this doesn't smell like it's for a man. It smells feminine. Yeah, I do. I think it's my summer. Because I get a lot of incense and benzoin vanilla. I'll, I'll actually put it on for you because I love it that much. Okay. Let it sit for a minute and you smell it again. Um, now this one, what's this one again? Camel by Zoologist Perfumes. This is an interesting one. Maybe not my favorite, my least favorite of them all. And this one I like, but it's a freshie. It's like easy boozy. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Spray and go. Yeah. But the good thing about this one is that it's one of the and longest we, lasting John Varvatos in a while. And we're matching, like. <laughs> there you go. You know what I'm saying. So that should have definitely won then. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Your top three. Top three, without a doubt, I'm like obsessed with this one. Can you give me this? No, sorry. I love you, but I'm not, you're not getting that. You can borrow it if you like, but you can't have it. I want it. It's so good. This one is really good. To sum that one up is chocolate-covered mango is the gist of that one. Cruz del Sur 2, so it's in the front. I've never smelled anything like that, which is why I really like that. Um... This one as well, I like a lot. Valentino Womo Noir Absolute. I kind of feeling you would like that one. It's, it, it makes the cut for sure, that one I really like. And probably this one. All right, cool. And this okay. nice. you like, but I think this is very masculine, assertively masculine. Yes. <laughs> Period. Yes. It's like, Period. um, and it's a little mature, but it's, it's really, really well done. And this is going to make another one of my top lists. I'll give you a, a sneak peek, if you will. Um, <clears throat> it's going to go on my most versatile fragrances list. I'm going to think of like seven to ten fragrances that I think are suitable for whenever, whatever time of year. Yeah. And that'll definitely be on it. When I smelled Ooh. this, it kind of reminded me of like, um, you said beach hut, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, it smells like a guy in a beach hut. Like it has like that, it has a little bit of muskiness. 
it has a little bit of like um like have you ever smelled like dried branches mm -hmm. like those dried branches that are like a, in a hut like a tiki the palm leaves yeah that's what it smells like and then it has it. something like it's got a minchiness about, about it. it yeah it's way better on skin yeah that's that smells insanely good yeah all right so Miss yeah. benson chose serge off Valentino and Afam de Mali. That's the three favorites from my list. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. You guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next review. Bye.